Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Most global equity markets are actually up a, a lot higher this morning as the FOMC statement last night was pretty positive, coming out with the fact that they believed that the US economy was doing well. They're not, uh, they've got patience in regards to the interest rates. Um, so there was a little bit of dollar positive there as well. Equity markets responding very, very strongly with the with the Dow smashing through 17,361, iron up 17,546. Uh, I was kind of yelling basically coming out to say, yeah, everything's all going quite nicely. We're not overtly exposed to what's happening in, in, in Russia and with the oil price shock. Um, obviously, some regions are more more hit than others, but all in all, it was quite a, quite a bullish statement. And they kept it up by saying that we're not in any rush to raise rates. You know, we can be patient when the time is right. So, um, US dollar has, uh, has increased against most other FX pairs and global equity markets have done quite well. So, couldn't have gone really any better for, 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 for most markets. So, um, a real shot in the arm there, trading a uh, you know, bullish engulfing pattern right here. Another um, bit of forward momentum this morning, and we're eyeing up 17.546. UK 100 has had a huge turnaround the last couple of days. Uh, going all the way down from uh, probably around about 61.50, and uh, we do, earlier on this morning we did break potential resistance at 64.15. We've dipped, dipped below it again there just now. Might just be a little bit of profit taking, but this is a, a dodgy, a dodgy formation right now, which if it continues on could be a little bit negative uh, into the day. But it's had a really, really great run last night, closing towards the top end of its range, taking the FOMC meeting uh, very, very well. Japan 225 also uh, moving in the right direction as dollar yen completely reversed course last night. We're in about 118 spot 67 right now. So um, everybody's been buying up the US dollar, um, cable, your dollar, all. Um, all looking quite interesting this morning. We'll come back to those charts in a second, but uh, potential resistance 17,496. Um, capped off by that 21 period SMA as well. So moving on to um, dollar yen, dollar yen again at resistance 118. Well, basically around about 119 was the potential resistance that it hit earlier on today. Uh, that's also the 21 period SMA bullish engulfing pattern right there. Um, and if we manage to get our head above 119, maybe we can get a chance to rechallenge again close to 121 as risk seems to be firmly back on the table. So moving on to crude oil, crude oil had a bit of a bounce yesterday. Again, a very ugly candle. So we got all the way back up to close to $59. Only want to get pushed right back down again. And even though we're moving in the right direction this morning, West Texas still looks pretty weak. Um, with these last couple of candles here, particularly showing that there is uh, a lot of selling pressure the closer we get to $60. Moving on to gold, uh, gold obviously um, got hurt a little bit yesterday. Uh, nothing too aggressive, to be honest, considering that the, that the US dollars had a quite a decent move. But 11.86 is a potential support. Um, we looked like we could be capped with the 21 and 55 period SMA right here. We bounced off for the last couple of days. We are in the middle of two ranges, with 12.18 being the next potential support. Uh, but the pressure should be on gold. Um, further on down the line. So we finish up with your dollar and, and cable. Your dollar smash through potential support one spot 2367. Short term potential support around about 122.44. Um, and uh, the US dollar certainly is back in the game after FOMC. And we've got unemployment claims due today. Uh, UK retail sales at 9.30 and German IFO data at 9 a.m followed by the Philly Fed numbers at three. So if you're trading GBP USD or your dollar later on today, that could be quite interesting. Uh, and in fact, we finish up with GBP USD, uh, very similar to uh, your dollar broke through potential support, one spot 56, um, pretty much tat the bottom of the candle right here, one spot 55.40, next potential support, one spot 54.24. So uh, in the absence of any amazing UK data and the acceleration of good US macro data, the trends are firmly back in place for those FX pairs. Um, so we've already kind of covered what's coming out today. Fast forward on to Friday, not a huge amount. We've got UK public sector debt, nothing that exciting. And if we fast forward on to Monday, we've actually got a little bit more there. We've got uh, Eurozone CPI and we've got existing home sales for the US. As ever, keep your eye on the chart forum. Make insights popular going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.